What's up, family? Uh, D. Frazier here, Houston Fishing Team. Just brought these fish upstairs, man. I'm gonna show you what I got, a 46 piece. First day I hit 25, second day I hit 21. So, there they go, man. This sink is full. I'm about to get busy. Cleaning. And uh, I might show you how I clean a few of them. I might do a, a little cooking part. I may turn this into a kids clean and cook. I already caught them the first day. Second day, I'm going to clean them and cook them. Get back with you in a minute. All right. Yeah, D. Fraser, man. From the show. How I feel like fish. You know, I don't know. A lot of people do it different. But that's how I do it, you know. I'm saying bubble knife. I got another knife in there. It's the, it's the, the new Rappler R12. Do not use that knife on delicate fish like this, like a crappie, man. It's going to tear that fish up. I tried it. I don't do it no more. But this is what I do. Get behind that gear plate, man. I grab and turn the knife up. Big haul. That's how I do it. Slab. I'm a meat, man. Slap. I, I do all my fillets first, and then I go back and do my real cases. Ain't got nothing to do. That's what I do, man. All, all ready. And I like to eat the backbone. Some people don't cook them, don't like them. My mom, she, she loves them. She be telling me to keep the backbone. I feel the backbone. See how much meat on there? If it ain't much, I won't keep it. See, like this one, I took all that off of that. That's nothing. Look at all them eggs, man. Ready. I'm gonna get this mess out of my bowl. Man, these fish carry, still carrying eggs, man. I'm gonna get another hog out of that for y'all, man. Hogs everywhere. You know another one. Just grab one. They all be slab, man. Slap. Ready. Slap. Slap. Now this one, I left a little meat on there, so what I do, cause my mama, she like to eat these, and I eat them too. The backbone, man, that meat sweet coming off that meat, off that, off that rib, off them bones, man. I, this is how I do it. I cut all the fins off. Straight down the line. And this, this is what I keep. Right there, all right, but that one's that one. And I keep a few of them, I don't keep many of them. And I'm gonna get back with you and I'm gonna finish cleaning these fish, man, because I got a lot. Finish cleaning these fish, and then I'm gonna come back and show you how I take the real cage out. Stay tuned. And I just had to switch my blade from the longer blade to the shorter blade. The shorter blade, I like better, because it's stiffer. Uh, Look at this fillet I just took off this here. This is with the shorter blade. I mean, it's, it's a little bit more stiffer, and uh, it's just better for me, man. A lot of people like to use that long blade, but it's flexing too much, and it's causing me to catch the skin and uh, not get uh, not get close to the rib cage. I'll be the backbone like I want. So I can control it better. See that? Boom, look how thick that filet is. I took all that meat off of that, that, uh, that backbone. Took all of it off. Stiffer, man. Look at that. Slap already.
This is what I got so far, and I ain't even halfway done, man. Already. All right, guys, we're back. This is all the fillets, man. One, two, three, four rows of straight fillets here. All these are the backbones that I kept from my mom. And this is the one big white bass that I had on the end over here. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I take the rib cages at. First of all, this is my cast king. I think this is a seven inch knife. Seven or six is one of them. This is all I do. Each one of them. I do. One cut. V cut. Take that away. Throw that away. And I get my pan right there. Put it on cold water. And I still got a lot of ice. Put that filet in there. And that's what I do. Don't oh, knock the white bass out. Ready? I'll come back. White bass, sometimes I just, uh, that bloodline, I'll leave it or you can knock it off. Me, I split it. But I don't like that blood, man. I'll cut that out sometimes. Sometimes I'll mess it up too. That's what I do. That's how I do the white bear. Take that bloodline out of there, man. But I come back and do that. <clears throat> Put these to the side. Let's move on. But yeah, I just crap it. I just. Lot of them to do, man. Get back with you when I finish this stuff already. It's the finished product, man. <clears throat> Pan full of fillets, and I got a few backbones that I'm gonna eat tonight and for my mother or so. Already, this is all the fish, man. That's a lot of fish. Plus, I'm I'm already loaded, so. Yeah, what it is, I'll be back on that water tomorrow, man, hopefully. Stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for the, I might put the cooking portion on film to show you how I cook, whatever. I got my fryer right there. You know what I'm saying? So, Houston Fishing Team, D. Fraser, man, again, I'm out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna eat tonight, man, in a little bit. And this is what, these are bags I got. Got four bags, back and seal. And big bags too. One bag of backbones, you know, for my mom, whatever. And uh, I'm gonna get back with you when I uh, get ready to cook. But I'm gonna fry this fish tonight, man. I gotta go to the store and get some other stuff with it. And uh, stay tuned when I get to cooking, man. All ready. Yeah, deep fries back, man. Back in the kitchen now. Uh, I'm gonna get ready to show y'all uh, how I cook fish. Uh, everybody got their way. You know how they do things or whatever. I got my way. And uh, we gonna just show you a few of the ingredients that I use. First of all, I make my own seasoning. Let me get that, let me get that across already. Here you go, right here. This is my season I call wild game. There's a lot of ingredients that go into that, so please don't ask me what I put in it, because it's a lot of stuff, man. That's one of my main, one of my main seasons. But what I do first, 
I'm gonna get this fish over here in this pan. Uh, I got my bowl out. It's ready. Let me rinse this fish off. I am filming whoever it is. My partner Rob, I call him right back. That's what I do, man. I take wild game I already got a lot of these seasonings in it, but sometimes I add a little more. And, uh, you know, I'm part. <laughs> Down, man, so we eat a lot of stuff hot and not, not too hot, but I do put cayenne pepper on, you know, I might sprinkle a little bit, not too much, already. Garlic powder, and all I do, I just put it, put it all over, and then I'm gonna go back and swish it all together. Garlic powder, onion powder. That's how I do my fish. I don't know how everybody else do this, but that's how I do mine. Wild game. Wild game is the main thing already. And I, that's all the season I put on. I'm taking them over, switch it around, make, it, make the season spread evenly. You know, that's all I do. That's all I do. That, wash my hand. My, hand, my gloves up. Okay, next thing I do, I got all kinds of stuff in my counter, man. Please excuse the mess, but uh, flour. Put flour in my battle bowl. Louisiana fish fry. The one I like is it gets real crispy. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but that wind whipping out there already. That's what I do. Even with that, after that, I add garlic powder and onion powder to my batter because I want the garlic and onion flavor. That's what I do. I put enough on there. Uh, yeah. and, uh, what I do, Just top on that. This top on that. I switch it around before I put my fish on now. Now. Do is right now. I'm gonna drop my fries, but I put out put all your fish, put whatever you want to fry on this part right here. That's enough right there. Take this here. Take this battle bowl. Make sure it's locked and secure. Flip it upside down. Okay. All ready. You can't lose with this here. Already. See what I'm talking about? Battle bowl with truth. I tap it. Try to get the excess off of her. Gotta mix it up now. I'm gonna get that out of my float. Shake it that down. Clean up as you go. Shit on any 
it ain't, it ain't on the edge, man. And see, with the battle bowl, that's the results you get. It's evenly battered, but just make sure that that battle ain't all up on the rim like I just did. Should have been on bloopers or something. But yeah, that's the first batch of fish that I'm gonna cook, and it's already ready. So, just to show you, that's the fries. I ain't even drop, I'm finna drop them. This is my fryer, this is a commercial fryer. Ready. Going up, it's about 350. So that's it. And I'm gonna get back with y'all when I start dropping fish already. Yeah, the fries just came up, man. I'm gonna drop them. You know what I'm saying? Already. Drop them fries. This is what we got. All my fish, I put all of it on the battle boat. And this, uh, I'm gonna drop these pieces of fish, they evenly battled. That's what I like about the boat. And uh, there we go, man. Get back with you in a minute when this fish come up already. Right. Yeah, that fish frying up real good, man. Real nice and golden and crispy. That's how I like it. All uh, right. Yeah, that's the finished product. I already got my plate made. All uh, right. Yeah, there it is right there, man, the finished plate. So all I gotta tell y'all, and I can tell you this here, D. Frazier, and I'm out, man. Houston Fishing Team, we finna eat, man, already.